What's going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Bernal and this is Boston RC. Uh, it's been a while, sorry. Uh, I have been kind of busy, but we're gonna keep going with the videos. And on this one, I have something special for you. So finally, I got the Agama N1. Um, took a while to get this guy, I got it. I paid for it in December, I believe. And I got it right at the end of May. So it was a long wait. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you this car in detail. We're gonna get close up and then, um, I'm not gonna talk about the performance. Uh, I haven't taken this to the track, so we're gonna leave this. Uh, we're gonna leave that for another time. Uh, I'm gonna show you the car, and we're just gonna talk about my first impression. So, yeah, let's take a look at it. Okay, guys. So here's the car. Um, it turned out good. Um, sorry, the paint is not my strong suit. So um, I mean, I think it's okay. I don't know. <laughs> but here it is. Here's the Agama N1. Um, beautiful car i think uh the design is uh it's beautiful and it's clever um yeah i mean i think everybody's excited to see this thing um out on the truck see how it does a lot of people have been waiting for this uh, myself included i got mine or i paid for it back in december got it at the end of may so it was a long wait um i've been just really itching to put this thing together so here it is what can i say really high-end uh, stuff right here it's really good quality with the exception of a couple of things i guess but i mean nothing 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 horrible so let's take off the body and um let's take a look at the body the body um i think it's a very nice design um I really like it. Um, it's not, I put a sticker in there, but it's not a bit of design. I don't know who made it. And yep, here is the buggy. So I'm running a Nova B5R with the Nova exhaust um, in it. Not that it really matters. Uh, battery wise, before I forget, this is what I'm running. It's a ProTech, um, I believe it's a 5500. Uh, correct. P2K 5500. Uh, it is a very tight fit. But it's gonna be a tight fit even with the uh, Agama uh, whatever battery they sell. So I chose to run uh, to run a lipo, 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 whatever um, a lipo. So um, as you can see, the main differences from uh, the regular eight scale buggy is the suspension. You have horizontal shocks. Um, like I said, it's pretty clever how they did this. You have these arms going to the control arms, they're metal. And then you have these top plates on top of the differentials where you attach the other side of the shock. Um, the differentials, the differentials it's, uh, themselves, they are um, different also. They put um, dual bearings in the diffs, uh, both on the outdrive side uh, where the pinions go. So. I liked it. I think it's very secure, um, very robust differentials. I really like that. The differentials themselves have some like plastic carriers. I'm gonna try and show you, um, which is also a very good idea. Um, so yeah, I mean, I I like what they did, and it was fun putting it together. Like I said, it's pretty it's, it's pretty similar to a regular uh, buggy. So you have the. This is the top of the differential case. These are the plates for the shocks. Uh, here you have in the bottom the differentials. As you can see, there's uh, two bearings on each side and these things are the carriers that I'm talking about. These guys, they have a little, very tiny O-ring in the center so it seals against the case. Very nice. Um, and then you have these dust boots outside of them. So. The differentials themselves are pretty well sealed. They're pretty robust, like I said. So very clever design. Uh, I really liked it. Um, besides from that, we have a Seahawk car. Um, let's take one of the wheels off. Um, I mean, really nothing out of the ordinary, but I'm gonna show you anyway. I'm gonna put this here. I don't know if it's gonna be out of the camera. No, there we go, out of the frame. So. Like I said, Seahawk car, um, you get aluminum hubs in the front with the carbon fiber um, arms. Um, you, you don't get any inserts for the control arms, not even plastic ones. Uh, the carbon fiber ones are on their website. 
Uh, I think they are available right now, uh, but some of the stuff is out of stock, as you will expect. Uh, you know, it's a new product, and whatever was available, I think was already, you know, purchased by other people. Um, you have a 125cc fuel tank, um, you know, pretty, pretty usual stuff. Um, like I said, the differentials are pretty clever. You have your shocks mounted on top, um, and you'll think that it's kind of complicated to access the diffs. It's actually super fast. Um, it is very quick, probably faster than regular differentials. Besides that, we have some carbon fiber here on the servo tray, and this little uh, plate right here in the front suspension. That's it. They don't send. The, you don't get any more carbon fiber. Um, the only thing I didn't like about this, and uh, I kind of feel bad saying it, but I think it's horrible. It is the top of the center diff. I mean, they couldn't have done anything cheaper. Um, I mean, not even a ready to run buggy comes with this um, crap. And the top of the diff is so flimsy. I mean, so flimsy. It's like the cheapest piece of plastic. It's probably not even worth one cent. So you have to buy the option part, which is the aluminum one. Um, unfortunately, it's out of stock. So. I did not like that. I don't know what they were thinking, but anyway, um, the buggy itself is great. Uh, it's what you would expect, you know, um, very similar to like Techno and Team Associated and uh, uh, Lossy and whatever. Very nice quality. Uh, here's the chassis, nothing out of the ordinary there. Uh, pretty much the same. Here's the car. Uh, you can see it closer from the top. Uh, sorry about the lighting and sorry about the the mic. I don't know what's up with the with the microphone. Yeah, from there, if everything else was um, was top notch. It was you know very simple to put together. Like the instruction the instruction manual is pretty good. I found a couple of mistakes in it. Nothing out of the nothing out of this world. But um, yeah, a couple of mistakes. And yeah, besides that, that's all you get. I mean. Yeah, it did not come in the original box. Uh, it actually came in three different UPS, like medium or small size boxes, all taped together. And in one of those boxes, they sent the original box. Uh, it's kind of a bummer for those who like to keep their boxes. Um, it is a bare box, it doesn't have any prints on it, like any um, graphics or anything. And the way they folded it, kind of like ruined the box, so I threw it away. Um, there's no point on like saving that. Um, obviously they're doing that to save on shipping since they ship this directly from the UK. Um, maybe if you get one that is shipped from uh, the US, you'll get your, your box, I don't know. Um, now, um, obviously the main thing is the fact that they did horizontal shocks that lowers the center of gravity and obviously that helps with handling uh, and controlling the car. Um, I, I mean, I haven't taken it to the track. I can't really speak about uh, its performance compared to the, uh, you know, the other buggies, the conventional buggies. So I can't really go there. Um, when I was breaking it in, um, when I was breaking the engine in, I drove the car, you know, kind of fast on the street and it is definitely very stable. I noticed that from the get-go. Um, but yeah, I want to take it to the track and then I'll have a better, um, you know, understanding of it and I can speak more compared to like the other buggies that I have. So Team Associated and TLR uh, are gonna be my base, my baseline. So um, besides that, pretty good brakes. Um, another funny thing, I, I don't know if it's funny or not, is that the brakes do not have uh, springs in them. They sell you the springs as an upgrade, you know, to keep the, the pads um, open. Um, I found that kind of interesting, being that every other kit that I've ever built came with the, the springs. Um, also, you don't get any grease, you don't get any oils, so have that in hand when you put this thing together. I don't think that's a bad thing, I mean, you're gonna run your specific oils, so, you know, that kind of makes sense. Uh, but yeah, no grease either, so have some grease in hand. Um, the rear of the car you can see the wing mount is pretty pretty small but i like the design not only i like the wing um it is very nice the 
the wing mounts it is so clean it is so slim i like how it looks it, it feels pretty uh yeah it feels pretty good i don't know that it will break you get another reinforcement here like another uh, piece of plastic that goes from the wing to the bottom of the car i chose not to use it we'll see if i need it at some point and that's it you get your obviously your provision for your digital switch and your transponder uh receiver box it does have a hole for a mechanical switch i didn't like that but whatever and like I said, the battery is pretty tight, whether you run the Agama battery uh, or uh, Protec, uh, which is what I'm running. That's it, so uh, yeah, you might be wondering, so is it a good idea to, you know, buy something like this, like this buggy right now? Um, well, yes and no, I mean, I think they did great and it's probably a very great handling car. The only problem is that it uh, seems like parts are out of stock uh, there's some upgrades that I I saw online and I was able to order but um, um, if you need replacement parts if you take this to the track and you break it or whatever I don't know how easy it's going to be to get parts uh, not only they have to come from the UK um, they are out of stock so uh, keep that in mind I mean you might want to order two <laughs> kits I don't know um, or just you know go ahead and order some stuff um, beforehand I don't know um, uh, yeah I'm kind of worried about taking it to the track you know sometimes things break or fall off or whatever and then you're stuck and especially in this case there's no replacements right now um, but yeah I love it I think they did great uh, it looks good um, seems like it handles really good and um, you might want to look into the top of the center diff um, when you order this if you're planning on buying one or if you're waiting on yours as soon as you see this available i suggest you order it because like i said this is pretty horrible um you might want to get the sprays for the brakes i don't know if you want to run some um, inserts on the control arms um, they have the carbon fiber pieces i don't think it's completely necessary but um, if you want to get them uh, those seem to be available but yeah i don't think it needs much out of the box except for that top diff plate so um, here it is, um, I hope you like it, I hope you like the video, I wanted to make this kind of short, this is just, um, you know, first impressions, I got it out of the box, uh, put it together, I enjoy building this thing, um, I like it when companies come, come out with like different stuff and this for sure is different. Next video I might just, uh, you know, do a quick update when I take it to the track, I'll tell you guys what I think. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. I'm going to keep making some videos. There's some stuff in the pipeline. And uh, I really appreciate you guys' support. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next time. Worst videoing. <laughs>